Hello, this is Katie, and this is Christmas card number six. I have it right this time, so this is number six. And I have done a couple things in advance for this one. I'm going to do a shaker card. I have the acetate sheet kind of pre-cut to around the size of that circle. And I have already cut um, this circle out of the card. So it's out of the whole front of the card. All I did was stick it through my die cutter uh, like this and then rolled it back. I didn't want to flatten any of this or the bend at all. And so I have that. And so the first thing that I'll do is actually stick the acetate down on the inside. And uh, to make that a lot easier, I'm going to run the tape around the circle on the inside. Take the acetate, try and keep it as clean as you can. Kind of see a couple thumbprints, but should be okay. All right. So I'll stick that down. Try not to stick my finger on the in the middle too much so that doesn't show through. And there's some along the edges, so I'll trim that off first. Probably go from this side so you can see what you're trimming off a little better. Okay. All right, so we're actually going to be doing a, a ring shaker card that I saw on Pinterest. And so there's going to be this stuck to the front, and then we'll be adding some more stuff in the back to that um, to just make the shaker go around so it doesn't touch the middle, so it's going to take a little more work there. So set that aside. I'm going to stamp Christmas below, and then I'm going to use a happy that I cut out. It's a clearly besotted die. These are really, really cute. Um, I just love the font, and they're perfect, and they work really well. So uh, th that's a, a UK company, I think, and so shipping is a little more, but it's really worth it for these. And the the money is in euros, I think, so however you want to translate that into U.S. if you're buying them from here. Um, so this one's happy. There's other ones like thanks and birthday, and there's, I think, a couple other words as well in the set. So I'm going to punch out. I already ran this through the die cutter. This is silver paper, and then I'm going to poke through. I can just use my pointy scissors. Poke through the, the little pieces in the word, and it's fairly fragile, especially if the paper is thin, um, but it's just a a very thin uh, word anyway, but they're very, very cute. So as long as you're careful with them, you should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. I'm actually going to stamp the Christmas and stick it down before I put this on. I'm just going to use a little glue on most of the word there. Okay, and then I have a Merry Christmas from, I'll have to find the set online because I don't label anything. It's from a paper tray ink set that's really, really cute. These are clear stamps. You should be able to see that. Okay, I'll hold it over the white. There's a little reindeer, an ornament. I don't use these nearly as much as I should, but they're very, very cute. There's a Merry, Merry and Bright. Um, I think that was divided up between two of those cases, so there's probably more. But I'm using the Merry Christmas, and I have put tape over the Mary, because I'm going to do happy. I didn't have a Mary um, die cut I was happy with. I have the Avery L one, but it's just a little too blocky and I wanted something scripty. And I just don't have a scripty Mary, so I'm not gonna use that one. But I do like that for, I've made another card with that Mary die cut, it's really cute. So I'm gonna put tape over the Mary here. And then I think I want it in red, so I'm gonna use the Mama Elephant Oh, that just happened. Wow, that was very dumb of me. Um, the Mama Elephant Apple that I now have all over my fingers. Hang on two seconds. Let's get this off. And off the work surface. I don't think it actually hit the circle too bad. 
but I'm probably going to cut a new one anyway. Okay. All right, so there's a couple of red dots on there. So I actually have three circles. I was going to show you these anyway from the Stampin' Up! set for the circle dies. I used the biggest one to cut out uh, a piece that we're going to use on the back to kind of hold in the shaker part. Um, the, s the one smaller than that I used to cut out the front, and then the little one I'm going to recut that is going to go right on the uh, front of the card. So I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper, set these aside, and run this through one more time for a piece that I did not drop my stamp pad on. back. Alright, so on this piece here, we'll ink up the Christmas part on the Merry Christmas. And since we're only inking up the Christmas, you can just do that off the edge. Then you want to peel up the tape. And then we'll try and center this Christmas. Right there. So that's perfect. Set the stamp aside. Okay. So that's a trick with any stamp. You can put tape on beforehand to cover up any part. Stamp the whole thing if you have to on the ink pad and then peel off the tape. And this will be clean as long as your stamp was clean before you put the tape on, you'll be okay. Uh, in this case, it was stamping off the paper anyway. So even if it was had residue on it, it wouldn't have come off. So. Um, that one actually worked out fine. So I'm going to stick this down. Just run my tape runner in kind of an X, just add a few lines. Oh, this is a disaster. Okay. Put this in the, I swear this acetate, everything clings to it. So we want to put this in the middle. Stick that down. Try not to touch the pigment ink because it's going to take a minute to dry. So eventually the happy is going to go here. I think I'm going to do that last. Um, for the shaker insides I have some silver stars I bought in just this pack of different colored stars a long time ago. Um, and I didn't think I would ever use them but this came in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and dump those in there when we're ready. So then on the back to create the area that we can put our stars in. I'm going to be using some foam tape and I'll probably just take off a big strip of it to start with and I'll use my scissors and start building this area if everything would stop sticking to each other. We want to make sure we build the area here so that the stars don't go in the middle. So this barricade we're creating right now is to keep the stars out of the middle circle. And um, I saw another tip uh, several people have used it, Christina Werner and Jennifer McGuire, for example. Um, to get these to not uh, collect or have the, um, like the star, for example, have it stick to it because the foam is sticky, you can use your embossing thing. They have like an embossing brush, but I have um, just the, hang on, the embossing buddy thing and I don't want to get it on the acetate but maybe I can dab some yeah I think that's getting on the I can see the powder so I'm gonna use my shirt try and wipe that off I wonder if that'll work yeah that doesn't look very good okay maybe I'll just skip that part until I can get a, 
a brush or an embossing brush, powder brush, sorry. Okay, and then we're going to make a border around the outside of the white. I don't want these to stick to the card. So I'm just going to cut a lot of these pieces here. You can do longer stretches of it too, actually. So I'll cut some of those. as well. Okay. And so we'll go through here. Probably use the skinnier ones to go down the side there. And so that bigger circle that I cut is going to be the one that we lay on top to cover all this. And now that I think about it, the circle might not work. We might have to just cut another piece the size of the card itself. And then this one can go down, cover that way, just because it's not going to be in a perfect circle. I wonder how much bigger this is. It's not by much anyway, so even the width that I would have wanted it to be probably wouldn't have helped. We'll get these stuck down, get some wider ones out of the way. And then we can get this one done right there. And I'll put a piece in here just in case. The stars are a little bigger so they shouldn't slip through at all. They should be just fine. But I want to make sure that we're covered there. And then I'll cut a thin one that we can kind of slide in here. Trim that off so it doesn't stick out. So we've got that I think I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock. I'll actually just use another card that I pre-folded that's that length. So I'm just going to trim trim off half of that on my trimmer back here. So, it's, so we have that. I'm going to also, since we're going to cover it up, I'm going to add some more foam tape pieces so it's all raised up. So we'll add some in the corners. These are going to be peeled up anyway. After I peel all of these off, then I'll be putting the stars in and then sealing it. And hopefully I haven't forgotten any steps. I think this will split in two. Put one here. Take those off as well. Okay, and then put some up in the corner to cover there. There's probably a simpler way to make this card. I followed the, the blog from the Pinterest it was on and it actually sounded, started sounding complicated and I had in my head how I would have done it. And so I'm just going with my thought process, I guess, and uh, I'm sure it'll work just fine. So when we pour these stars, we want to make sure we don't lock any stars in the middle. It wouldn't matter because you wouldn't see them anyway, but we don't want to waste them. So we'll peel these off. I actually found out I can pause video. I'm going to actually pause this while I finish peeling these off. So these will be done when we come back. Okay, so all of those are taken off. I'm going to use my fingers to drop in these stars. I just want to make sure they land in the right spot and don't stick to anything. They're not supposed to be sticking to like they are right now. Get these away from there. That one. I don't want them on top of any of the foam tape. 
This is not an easy process. Now the only thing I'm worried about is one level of foam tape, only having one level, because usually when you only have one they don't move around as easily, so maybe I just won't do as many stars. I will, um, maybe I'll just leave it to what's in there now. And then stick this card down. So hopefully this will work out okay. Get these out of the way. I'm going to turn this sideways to make this a little easier. I'll match this up with the card right there. Bring it down to the corner. I'm hoping I've done everything I was supposed to. And I've got some foam sticking out because it wasn't just long enough. I'm just going to tuck it in with the scissors. I could also kind of scrape some out there. Kind of looks like insulation that you can just take out some of the foam. Okay, so if we flip it over, it should look a little like that. It's going to fold a little funny since it's got the card inside, but it should fold okay there. And then they're kind of shaking around. And they're not sticking to the foam too much, which is good. Um, they can tend to get a little stuck too if they're, the layer isn't too thick, but it actually looks okay. So then we're going to lay that down, and then I'll get some tweezers so we can glue down the happy part. And then I'll use the, let's see, I have the Tombow, Tombow Mono Multi-Glue. I'll open it up on that and get the happy, we'll see right about, hopefully that zooms back in, right about where we need to put the the glue. I suppose the glue could be on the whole word. I just don't want it to smear out. So most of the H curl, the bottom of the H all the way through the Y. So I'll just try and make sure to do really light glue. Maybe take a drop and drag it as well just to make it very very thin and you also don't have to glue every little part most of it's going to stick down anyway Wasn't supposed to do that part of the H. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll stick down the H all the way through. Got the P and the Y. So that way you have the H and the little the H loop here and the strings kind of coming up off of it as well. So they look kind of loose. And there you go. So you've got some silver here, and then a pop of red with the silver stars. And that is the card. Thank you for watching, and hopefully card number seven will be soon. Thanks. Bye.